So the people who become doctors pay the highest amount of tax. This is pretty stupid, you know. And business owners pay 20%. Mm -hmm. And real investors would pay zero. So when I was a young man growing up, my poor dad wanted me to come on this side, and I want to come over on this side. So I'm here with uh, three quite influential individuals. Uh, over there is Robert Kiyosaki. Just to clarify, that is not his artificially generated image. That's the actual Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, this is for the benefit of the viewers. Then we have Sunil Tulsiani and Sne Desai. I'm going to be talking to all of them today about the India Growth Summit and a lot of other things, right? So uh, do pay attention. Right. I'm going to start off with Robert. So Robert, uh, it's 1997, Rich Dad, Poor Dad has just come out and it's become a massive success. Did you, I mean, I know you probably heard this question about 15 lakh times or 15 million times, I don't know, but I'm going to ask it to you again. Did you expect it to be such an insane success? Uh, no, absolutely not. Because I, um, I'm a very bad student. I flunked out of school because I cannot write. So. Two Fs. Soft, my sophomore year, about 10th grade, and my 12th grade Fs. So it was horrible in school. But the book was also turned down by every other publisher. And the publishers, as you know, academics are like my poor dad. And they said, You don't know what you're talking about when it comes to money. But that is the problem with America and the world, is our academics are financially stupid. I just, I, I can I talk with my, my pants? Yes. Yeah. yeah, sure. This was book number two in Rich Dad Poor Dad. Hmm. It was called The Cash Flow Quadrant. And for most people, that's the book that changes their lives. Oh my God. They wake up, you know. And then E stands for employee. So that's my point. You know, so go to school, get a job, and then because I was a stupid student, you know, my mother wanted me to be a doctor, a smart student. Mm. But since I was flunking out of school, she says I'll never be the doctor. But this was my rich dad here. And B stands for big business, 500 employees or more. They're called you know, guys like today, it's uh, Elon Musk, right. uh, my friend Donald Trump, and all that. Tata. What's that? Mr. Tata. Mr. Tata, yes. But you see the difference in tax law. And, uh, and again, this is all over the world. Employees pay about 40% of their income in tax. Mm -hmm. So you got $1,000, so you pay $400. S's pay the highest. So the people who become doctors pay the highest amount of tax. This is pretty stupid, you know. And business owners pay 20%. Mm -hmm. And real investors would pay zero. So when I was a young man growing up, my poor dad wanted me to come on this side, and I want to come over on this side. So I'll give you the example of that. Not the bull coin. It's so like this here. I tell people, don't save dollars because dollars are fake. They just print them. It's fiat currency. So when I was a little boy, I used to hold coins and look at them like this, you know. And so today I don't just own gold coins. I took the biggest gold mine in America public on the York Stock Exchange last summer. That's the difference in mindset. Mm. See, so I became a billionaire there. So it's called the, I call it the Trixie Mine. But the way we found this mine, this mine was uh, built in 1850. And it was by old prospectors in America with burros and picks and all this. And they dug this mine. So they had all these records, these old miners kept. And using technology, which you guys are way ahead of me 
they took the technology and they digitalized the records. And then they took the digitalized records and put it into pictures. And they realized they missed the biggest thing of all 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So we bought the mine, only $20 million with debt. Took it public at the New York Stock Exchange last July. Boom, that's how you get rich. But it starts with thinking small, mm. and then but quickly. thinking like business owners, not small people. Questions? <laughs> no, I'm just, I just wanted to say that never in my life I thought I would be schooled by uh, Robert Kiyosaki, a person who's just done his graduation. And uh, But this is great. I think one of the most famous teachers in the world is giving me a lesson. But yeah, most people, cannot, most people cannot do this. Because they went, they went to school. The school's already jammed. The brain, they jam your brains up. Mm. We were talking about that. I was called stupid all the time. Mm. That makes two of us, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my concern is, it's my friend Donald Trump here. So, I bring this just to prove it. There's a lot of, you know, on YouTube and things like that, there's a lot of fake guys up there, a lot of fake real estate guys and all this. Trump and I are really good friends. We're on this side not this side. So when we talk and we encourage people, we say, some of you can make it over here. This is Elon Musk, this is Tata, this is the, these are the powers that bring a country to power. <clears throat> so, the point I'm getting at here is just a mindset. And if you, once you start changing that, then you hit, well, these guys here like what's happening in America today. When I came here, the first thing I wanted to see was the slums. Why did, why did I want to see the slums? That's where America's going. Mm -hmm. so what's happening in America today is homelessness and slums are accelerating big time. And the liberals or the school teachers you know, let's mm -hmm. go to more school. Mr. Morty, who I have tremendous respect for, he's going to build 1,400 more schools here. They'll never teach this. They'll teach people to do this here. Now, the problem with this here is AI is going to take them out anyway. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Artificial is going to wipe these guys out. So in America today, a lot of the people who have high-paying jobs, they're finished. The people that we wiped out the most on this side by artificial intelligence are school teachers. We don't need them anymore. So that's what my concern is. So for the last two years, my companies, we get together for weekly meetings and we play YouTube videos on people who are in slums and homeless in America. Hmm. A lot of them are smart, most of them are educated. They just can't afford to live. Yeah. So what's happening, what's happened in India is happening in America today. Right. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I got one more thing and then I'll, I'll sit down. Yeah. These are the basics. This was rich dad, poor dad here. And it's with my cash flow board game. We built that in 1996. And this is called a financial statement. Investments, assets, liabilities. One more statement called the statement of cash flow. Basic accounting. You can teach that. I thought. No, I. Poor dad. Go here. Go to school, get a job. Mm -hmm. This is rich dad. So there's something teachers as they always focus here. Tata focuses here. And so it's not that hard to train a kid to think here. But your slums will increase, like America's increasing. The 
because we're still teaching people to go to school and get a job. And this is where so, uh, these are E's and S's, what was here. B's and I's, what was here. It's that simple. So we created the cash flow board game. So a person, so this is a poor person here. You know, like some people think making a million dollars is a lot of money. But what what good is it if you're paying 60% tax? Mm -hmm. So let's say I make a million dollars. Take 60% here. Not too smart. I have an asset in here called 